Hello everybody, this is War Story Video Vlog. I'm Alex and here is Daniel. Hey. Hi, Alex. We are here in uh, Houghton and uh, this is after show interview. We saw Daniel on previous episode. I'm poor, man. Touch it, touch it. <laughs> and uh, I promised to film uh, interview and show it to you. So let's get it started. So let's see what do you have with you tonight? Only a few batches. Oh, a few. I found on. A really nice receipt clasp, second class. Oh, nice. In back, in mint condition. And how much do you want for it? 850. Well, that's cool. And can you show this really shiny on all? Well, the details are yes, Polish. Yes, it's like burnishing, right? And? Yeah, it's in original paper. Yes. Is it a matching set, right? Yes. It's, I mean, uh, I, if I'm right, this is a different maker, but they are known in these bags. Th and this is the early one. With the first the, pattern, yeah. right. You can see, guys, difference between the first pattern and the, like regular patterns. The edges are round and on this they are straight. That's and nice. And um, this, this one, one is, is right. also marked on the back. Mm -hmm. And how much is this? L12 for Junker. This one is with the ribbon 1000. Mm -hmm. The first pattern are way more raw. Uh, yeah, I maybe saw like several of them, but not too I many. You find maybe 10 or 20 of the second pattern before you find one of the first pattern. And one in back, you find also second or third set I had in 15 years. And uh, what is your like best favorite item on uh, your cases? Maybe one of the rarest. It's a case for the blood order Wow. for the first pattern. Unfortunately, the metal is missing. 7,500 euros? Yes. Wow. But uh, as we see, there, there was an iron cross inside. Mm -hmm. So they just uh, use and this. On the back, simple. there's an awarding number, and you can find the name, oh, which is number. Did you try to Google maybe somebody sold a medal? Like, uh, yes, maybe but it option. was not found. Just imagine if you find it. It will be a very, very hard, but yeah. <laughs> not impossible, but maybe a lifetime work. Yeah. I can show you the best uh, find from this show. A small iron cross. The big brother of the iron cross. Seriously? Cool. I'm in, I'm in condition night cross. Klein yes. und Quenza. That's cool. Textbook and full original. Did you buy it for uh, your collection or for no, seven? No, it's sold. <laughs> Already sold? It yeah, was it... Uh, brought to me. I found it at the show. So it's really good show for you. Yes. Good for you. Beer on you. <laughs> <laughs> And here, uh, for example, I saw really cool Unterseebot Abzeichen, cased one. Yes. And uh, how much it was? I think it's close to be 2,000. Mm -hmm. Light used, but nearly mm -hmm. mid condition. And these are stamp? Yes. This one, stamped one. And uh, the case is uh, like a textbook, as I remember yes. it should be. For the Junker, they are known in these blue card boxes. Mm -hmm. And what is interesting here, maybe you have like some personal story about uh, some of your items and uh, work. One time, a guy who was normally too expensive with the stuff. He asked like double the market prices on the normal stuff. Normally in this case, there's a 25 long service award for working in a company, like six, around 60 euros. Mm -hmm. The guy had one, it was also 25, but the for long service in the Wehrmacht. Yeah, that's cool. It's that's cool. And for the same price. The price difference it, was... It was uh, double than the normal price, but uh -huh. it's way less than the metal itself is worth. You often have to take care also on the tables of the too expensive dealers or on the dealers who sell uh, reproductions. Sometimes yeah. they had original stuff. And Hard work pays sometimes off. <laughs> and tell our subscribers, what do you do for a living? This. Yeah, full-time uh, job. How often you attend like flea markets and all that stuff? Yes. How does it work? I would say from the rule, yeah, every second weekend is a show, or sometimes also weekend after weekend a show, and in under the week there's a sell on the website, make pictures, shipping, paperwork, answer emails from yeah. customers. You will know it, Alex. <laughs> yeah. yeah, actually yes. And uh, how did you get in this hobby? When I was 14 years old. I saw a German TV where they show 
people who go with a metal detector to the forest. And when we was 14 years old, we thought we can also do this. Mm -hmm. And after this, we go to flea market. Then I worked in a company for four or five years. When it was ended, I have to decide what I have to do. And I decide to make my hobby to my work. And for our subscribers and for some uh, random viewers, it could be interesting uh, why uh, people so like items with swastikas, why people uh, bought uh, items from Third Reich period. And for me personally, and for many other people from uh, United States, from England, from Germany, from Belgium, from uh, Netherlands, this is a uh, items from the last big war in Europe and uh, we just don't want uh, happen it again. Oh, yes. um, and we and get the part. stories from our grandparents and we can touch it. And uh, find some stories behind these badges, badges. medals. Yeah, and, uh, and if you get it with the documents, you can maybe research the story behind this badge. Yeah, that's, that, that's the person. really cool. Even if there is no uh, document, you can just imagine which like battle it could went through and uh, how it finished, we everybody know. But thank you for uh, showing these items and uh, thank you for sharing your uh, personal story. And what do you think about prices uh, on the market at the moment? Is it like like uh, still raising, uh, is it a flat or going down? What, what do you think? At the moment, it's sell is okay, but it's not like uh, the last three years during Corona, when mm -hmm. every new stuff was sold immediately, yeah. and now there's a little bit Slowly. calm down and. Uh -huh. It's okay, yeah. we will have different times. Yeah. It's in every market, there's high, there's top. And For me personally, it's like a kind of uh, separation. You can find uh, item in really good condition, in awesome condition. This is getting harder and harder to find yes. the mint condition. Yes, yes. So the regular stuff in regular condition, maybe in like a broken uh, pieces or st stuff like that, stopped uh, with the prices. But like mint ones, we can see like you bought Abzeichen uh, for two grand. In 2018, 2019, the price for the same was maybe 900, 1000 euro. Yeah. And yeah. You for go to a show time. and you have maybe 10 pieces and can pick one yeah. of them. Yes, and now, and you had time for... And now you have maybe one and that's yeah. it, if you are lucky. That's true. So uh, for me, it's like uh, for really good stuff, it's getting harder to, to find it, especially for me. But why especially? <laughs> <laughs> we always like to find the best condition. Yeah, and uh, it's not too, too many pieces uh, on the market uh, exist now. How do you like this show? Nice show, it's growing and growing. This time it was the best Houghton show for me. Yeah, for me. I also. found some nice pieces. I found uh, several Soviet uh, period pieces, which is incredible because before I didn't find any. I just bought this uh, stuff. What do you think? What is it? The bag. You're right. How can you close it? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> now you have two straps to close okay, it. Okay, now you broke it, so it was uh, 450 euros. Now you owe me 50. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, how can you? No, but no, no. But it's for soldiers. I don't know. Should I do that? Yes, I will not damage it more. <laughs> <laughs> so you just take a bag, for example, put there something, another bag, for example. This one is also pretty rare bag, model 1942. And now, how can you carry it? No idea? You just put it like this, and then like this. That's it. It's the simplest backpack that you, <laughs> that you can see. It's too simple for me. <laughs> So thank you very much for uh, sharing your story. Thank you for your business and being here. So thank you for visiting us. <laughs> Russian and German meet in the Netherlands. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and now we are friends, not like 80 years ago. Yes, that's true. 80 years ago, we didn't even like exist. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> we can be friends 80 years ago. So, uh, thank you guys for watching this video until the end. Thank you for uh, press like and subscribe button and text comment under this video because it's really uh, helped to raise this video up uh, in Google, in all social medias. And, and the show, show also. 
Yes, exactly. Uh, and for me personally, by the way, offline shows is a really uh, important part of business because uh, we can meet and uh, can share the like, stuff opinion. On, not the stuff only from the pictures. Yes, yes. So this is very important. So thank you guys again and see you next time.